I've known Kevin for about 40 years. Kevin uh, was a cadet. Uh, that's when I first met him when I was on the job. Uh, he was, uh, I would consider him one of my best friends. When I first met him, he would always take an interest in me. And I always knew that when I would meet him in the hallway or in the locker room or going to roll call, he would always take the time. Hey, John, how you doing? How's the family? He had a great sense of humor, almost a, a happy-go-lucky kind of guy who really enjoyed police work and really enjoyed life. He always had a smile on his face. He'd walk by that office every stinking morning. As bad as my morning was going, I'd look, and he'd always have something funny to say, and it'd brighten up the day, and it'd get me going. Outside of work, Kevin was your typical police officer. He liked a good time. He liked being with his friends. Kevin and I coached baseball and soccer. He could hit a golf ball farther than Tiger Woods. We had a lot of fun. It was just a fun time back then. To him, family was the number one thing. He adored his children. He adored his wife. He's got a son and a daughter who has a little, he has a grandchild, Victoria. Victoria, And uh, he was taking care of Victoria. Uh, you know, he was thinking shortly in another year or two of calling it quits and he was going to, uh, you know, he was going to be a full-time grandpa. We just did a ride to remember from Springfield, 104 miles to Boston to the State House and was honor of Kevin. It was a true tribute to a true hero. People should admire his work ethic and if people were more oriented to his work ethic, the crime rate in Springfield would be 2%. You can still see him walking through the halls here when I, when I talk about him. He'd make me smile, and I, and I miss that every day. I keep the door open, other guys go by, and they're good friends of mine, but I miss seeing Kevin go by.